So Camille has a full face of serums and moisturizers, mm -hmm. all that stuff on. First thing I do is I use this Amoro Visa. Ooh. It's Fancy. like a Budapest um, facial spray. I kind of go kind of generous with it because I want it to kind of, you know, make the skin a bit more moist so that when you apply on a color, it's not too crazy. Mm -hmm. And then I'll use a concealer. So, just... What's the concealer? This is from Fenty Beauty. Oh, really? I always wanted to try. Pro Filter 235 is the color that I use. This is also a Fenty Beauty Pro nice. Concealer Brush. I'm gonna go under your eyes and just in here a little bit. You know what though, like, you were saying that you had dark circles when you were younger and you were like so stoked on concealer. Mm hmm I actually like dark circles. Yeah, I'm starting to like dark yeah. circles too. But usually just like in the highlighted areas yeah. is where I would put concealer. So bridge of the nose, forehead. I'm gonna use a bigger brush to blend this out. I forgot to bring it, so I'm gonna go grab it real quick. Be okay, right in the meantime, <laughs> I'm gonna sing a song. I'm just kidding. Whatever happened to these brushes? I love those ones. Yeah, I love them too. But like, no one uses them anymore. They because have Beauty Blender just took over. Yeah, I don't use Beauty Blender so anymore. So much ad space okay, or whatever. Are, quick. are they really that good, Beauty Blenders? I like them, but they get moldy. Oh, God. Next, I'm gonna do a powder foundation. This is from La Prairie. This is what I've been using lately. Very fancy. It opens up and there's a mirror and then the sponge is uh -huh. like separate. Yeah. And there's two mirrors. There's like a very close up mirror and then like a far away mirror. That's some nice packaging right yeah. there. And this brush is also from La Prairie. The only thing is that this brush causes a lot of fallout. Mm -hmm. So I'll put like a decent amount and then I'll also just kind of kick it off a little bit and then just roll it onto the areas that can get kind of discolored or shiny. And I usually just do the center of the face because I don't want like a dark line, you know? Or not a dark line, but like this, the lines from the yeah. jaw. Okay, and then I'm gonna use a bigger oh, fluffy brush. I love that brush. What a nice brush. Yeah, it feels good. This is a synthetic brush too, so it doesn't harbor bacteria, which is nice. nice. Where's your headband from? Nin Studio? This is from Nude Sticks and it's a sun kissed uh, bronzer. You know how Maddie did that color? Yeah. So it's a little bit like that, but a bit more brown. And I kind of just put it on my cheeks and then I work it up. Oh, so right. it looks kind of 80s right now, but it's not going to look like that. And then she does a little bit on her nose, and then I yeah. do that too, just like a little bit. And then a little bit right here. Mm -hmm. Close your eyes real quick. Pro Foundation Brush from Sephora brand. So it's like a slanted foundation brush. Oh, I like it. Yeah. Blend. You use, yeah, you do use brushes. Yeah, but I only have one. I need like, I Those want more good. brushes that I'm like excited about. When you buy paint brushes for your art, yeah. do you, do you stick to one brand or like, do you just mm. buy them because they're practical? Yeah, I don't really stick to a brand. I should though, because I feel like every time I buy brushes, I'm so lost, because there's just so many of them. Yeah. And many different brands. Do you have like an expensive cult following brand that like, or one brush that like every make, uh, what every uh, painter uses? Well, if I had all the money in the world, there's like these brushes called Da Vinci brushes. Dang, they sound expensive. Yeah. Yeesh. They're, they're expensive. And I, they're I mean, like the Gucci I know, brushes, yeah, brushes. I mean, I think so, <laughs> but I don't really know. I feel like a, maybe someone who like, yeah, I don't know. I should talk to other painters about that. In your field, do people share their, their, not their secrets, but like just like their resources. Oh, this is from Noto. This is a oh cute. I love that color. Yeah, it's called the Multi Benny Lip and Cheek. Just use the back of a brush like that, Ooh. and then I grab a little bit of product. Smart. Yeah, I'm smart. <laughs> You're very smart. And the, this is actually what I do every morning when I go before I go on a run in case I run into anyone cute, you know. Yeah. Um, before I go on a run, I put I put this on my cheeks and my lips. 
And so then, it looks like you've been running for a while. Hey! Call that. <laughs> out! <laughs> yeah, so it looks like I've been running for a while, but it gives me like a really like, you know, like, oh, I just woke up and like... I rolled out of bed. Rolled out of bed. It really got pulls laid. up on you. Is that too much? Can you tell? I think it... I mean, in the monitor, it looks like a lot, but then I look in the mirror and it looks fine. So okay. I think we should keep it like this. Okay. Because then when we put the rest on, I feel like it's all going to even out. Plus, I love when I have a Pink lot. Pink cheeks. Yeah. It's so crazy because my skin eats up pigment. So that on me looks normal. Well, that, maybe that my skin is just a slow eater. This is a brow pencil that you from Shuamara. By hand. Yeah. I just did this yesterday. I know, it looks insane. But that's like the secret, to get like that angle. Yeah. Wait, did you have to learn how to sharpen your... Um... God, no. Really? Someone said in one of their... Uh, in my last video, because I featured this pencil. Yeah. It's one of my favorites. Your eyebrows are already really good. I wouldn't really... But I love thick eyebrows. Who doesn't? I know. I love this. I don't want to mess it up though. I think anyone who went to art school probably had to learn. How to sharpen their own. Yeah. Yeah. This is great because if you have oily skin, it, it uses oils from your skin to uh -huh. transfer the product. I usually just use whatever um, um, brow product that I have. I was using a mascara for a while because you shot that video and you were talking about mm -hmm. mascara. This color is called Ash Brown. So it's just like a... Like a grayish brown. I don't feel like you even need it, but it'll hold your hairs in place. Okay, so this is from Laura Mercier. This is what I've been using on my eyes lately. With amethyst, I just put it on my top lid, and it it stays all day. So if you mm. use this color on its own, um, and I do it really easy. I just do one swipe across. I'm gonna do your other eye right now. Okay. And then I just use my finger. Mm-hmm. It looks almost like nothing, but there's a little bit of color. And this is my favorite eyeshadow of all time, like holy grail. This is called Rush, and it's the same formula essentially. It's the caviar stick eye color, and it's just full of like glitter oh, and reflex. Oh, that's the one you've been wearing all the time. Yeah. Oh shoot. The thing is, this on its own doesn't. It's it's cute, but it's not as like loud, you know, mm -hmm. as with. A little bit of amethyst underneath oh my god i love it and the cool thing is that you can just blend it out completely and it's not as it's gorgeous yeah it's so oh it's so beautiful so i'll put it on and then i'll bring it into the socket and then fill it in silver reflect white reflect a little bit of blue but then it's all under a pinkish base okay and then fill it in some more okay you see I'm gonna oh blend it i out. love I love it. The thing it. is you can't blend it out too quickly because then it, it turns into nothing, you know? Mm. And then look up real quick. And then the bottom, when I do the bottom, I don't even blend that part out. I just kind of leave it. I just run it across gently and then I don't even bother going back in afterwards. Mm -hmm. And I try to bring it all the way into the tear duct too. Or not the tear duct, I'm sorry, the inner corner of your eyes. Mm -hmm. Ooh. You like? I love it. Yeah, and then I once it sets it. down a little bit, that's when I I go back in and mm -hmm. smudge it out. Um, on my lips recently, I've been using this. I bought like 20 of them and gave them They're to so all my good. friends. So yeah. good. I love mine. It's good as like a lip color too, but this is uh, it's from 3CE Style Nanda Velvet Lip Tint, and the color is called Taupe. And it's like a... What would you call it? Like a liquid lipstick? Yeah, but like very velvety and it just feels really good on your lips. Like it feels like, yeah, it doesn't feel th thick or dry or anything. It just feels good. Like moussey, right? Yeah, it just feels really good. And you can use it as blush too. Like sometimes I'll just use this as blush. Yeah. Um, but mo like almost every day, I think out of habit, I've been using the multi Benny one. Or the one from Noto Cosmetics. Mm -hmm. But... When I'm on the road, I'll use this. Like, I have one in my car, I have one in my purse, I have one at my ceramic studio. I think it looks great on everyone, like, even if you just start out with, like, a little bit. I just do this. Put a little bit on my upper lip, like that. Like, almost like a little heart. 
in the mm -hmm. center, and then just kind of bring it all the way around. Um, and then sometimes, like, if I'm in the mood for it, I don't, I don't think you really need it, but sometimes I'll put a lip balm on, on top of it so it gives you, like, a glossy look. So pretty! Look at this side. What do you think? Do you want to go make it supreme? So this is what I do every day, but then yeah. I also, like, at night, I peacock. Let's peacock. You it's, want a peacock? I mean, it's Friday. Yeah, it is Friday when we're shooting this. So I started out with this at first. This is from Smith and & Colt. Mm. And um, that's what like started this whole thing, like the eyeshadow that you're wearing right now, the, all the glitters that I've been wearing. It was great, because all the chunky glitters are on top. But then, over time, I didn't realize that they only put the chunky glitters on top of the formula. So once you dig in, it's just the small glitters. So all those big chunks mm -hmm. that you see, those are gone. Like, those mm -hmm. are basically gone. Mm -hmm. But also, it's super fun, and it's a great place to start if you're looking for glitters. And then after that, I graduated to this, which is the glitter jelly from Glossier. Is that for eyelids? Yeah, it's meant for your eyelids. Uh-huh. Um, what I like to do oh. is I've been wearing them as uh, freckles. Oh, damn. I was walking around Melrose, and then I found this. This is from Lemonhead. Have you heard of Lemonhead? No. You have to smell this. What is that? It's glitter jellies. Or, yeah, it's basically the same thing. What does it smell like? Like lemons, right? Yeah, but like artificial lemon. Yeah. This one's the best one. So if you're going to get one... I. I, I would go for this one. That looks so fun. This one's also really good. This is from Fenty Beauty. Ooh. And it's called Confetti. It's the matchstick in Confetti. <gasps> yes. Yeah, so if you just want like a subtle highlight, Damn, this that is looks good. Fun. Oh. Yeah. Yum. It's really hard to control because it's just so chunky, you know? But I would wear a little bit of this on the top lid. Can you feel it? Is it cold? No, I like it. Okay. It tickles a little bit in a good way. Okay, some more away. <laughs> yeah. Wait, open your eyes on me. Lay it flat down again. Okay. You see how it's just like right in the center of the eye? Sometimes I'll even do this, but just this, and no eyeshadow underneath. Okay. Like that? Yeah. You have to like press it down though, because sometimes it'll fly off and fly into your eyes, and that is a no no. Then look up real quick. And then I'll put like a little bit down here. Okay, feels good. Look. See? Look, look! Oh! You get it? You get it? Yeah, it's very, I it, love it. It's very dramatic. I love it. I, I want to be more dramatic this year. You got it. You see the difference in colors? These are more purple pinks, and then this is more. My gold. That feels so good. I wish I had the patience to like put it directly on the real freckles, you know? Oh. What do you think? Oh, I love it. Just do it on the other side. Yeah. I love it. I'm gonna. I wanna bring a little bit up here too. I should do this every day. Just glitters? I just like. Trust me, it makes you feel really happy. Yeah, I just want to like do makeup for me, you know? Yeah. And like have fun. And I don't like to wear like a lot of like foundation and stuff that makes my face feel like I'm wearing a ton of stuff. But this actually looks really good when you don't have a full face. I'm just going to set it real quick. And then you can wear mascara if you want to, but I never wear mascara whenever I, I do I this. Don't, I it's don't, like... I think that's almost too much. Yeah, I don't do the mascara because it feels... Yeah. You have to remove one thing or keep one thing clean. Um, just so it doesn't feel overwhelming. I love it. Nice. I'm inspired. I want my whole life to be what's happening here. <laughs> well, thank you so much for letting me do your makeup. Well, thank you. All right, so we will see you soon. I'm going to try and get Camilla to do her everyday skincare routine. Oh, God. Yeah, I think it'll be fun. Okay. I think it will be good. Yeah. It would be nice to learn some stuff. I'm going to leave um, all of Camilla's information in the description box. Check out her Instagram. You can see her dancing videos. Shoot yes. a dancing video and tag her in it. I hope you guys are inspired by this look. And um, 
go out and peacock, you know, wear a wig or something, or like put on glitter, put on blue eyeshadow, have some fun with your makeup. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. All right, take care. Bye. Bye.